Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this absolute value uh, inequality. When solving absolute value inequalities, um, what we need to firstly do is isolate the absolute value, right? We need to get the absolute value by itself. Um, so to do that, I'm going to subtract the 4 on both sides. So therefore, I have 6y minus 2, our absolute value of 6y minus 2, is less than 22 minus 4 is 18. OK, so now, now what I'm going to uh, um, now what I go ahead and do is um, I want to go ahead and create my two cases. Now, you can see the absolute value is less than or 18. So when I'm creating my two cases, I'm going to create a compound inequality as and. So basically, what I have is now negative 18 is less than 6y minus 2, which is less than 18. Okay, So when it's less than, you create a comp you know, and compound inequality. Now, I just go ahead and solve this like any other compound inequality. I use my inverse operations and make sure whatever you, you want to isolate the variable inside so you do your operations on both sides. So I have negative 16 is less than 6y, which is less than 16. Then I just divide by 6, divide by 6, divide by 6. What am I doing? 18 plus 6 is 20. Um, therefore, that becomes in there 2, so negative 2.5, right? You can reduce the fraction less than uh, y, which is less than, uh, let's see, 3, 3 and a third. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. What am I doing? That's 4. That's 2 thirds. So I'll do negative 2.6. Yeah, let's do round it up. So negative 2.7. And this would be a third, right? So that'd be 6. No. Yeah, 12, 18, and 1 third. So 3.4. All right. Again, these are approximate. Um, but when the growing graph, well, I rounded them up, actually. So when graphing this, um, and again, the reason why I, I rounded them up is because when graphing this, I want to kind of know where they're going to stand. Um, but my y, the value of my y, is going to be in between negative 2.7 and 3.4. I'm not going to get very detailed with this. I'm just going to kind of approximate. And obviously, if you have a line graph that you can do very approximate, but dealing with decimals over fractions is not very fun. Uh, I'm doing an exact line graph. So I'm going to use some approximations. And I'll say, hey, here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can fill in all the lines if you want to, but negative 2.7 would be somewhere like here. Oops. Put in a nice dot. And 3.4 would be somewhere 1, 2, 3, 3.4 would be somewhere right there. Since it's less than on both of those, those are going to be open. And since y has to be greater than negative 2.7 but less than 3.4, our solution set is going to be in between them. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph an absolute value inequality. Thanks.